Hi Aquarius, this is your horoscope for May 2018. Thank you for joining me. Now Mars is in your sign of Aquarius in your 12th house all month. So you're really going to have a strong drive to innovate, to have new ideas and to connect with spiritual principles. At the same time, Mars squares Uranus, the planet of rebellion and eccentricity, and that's in Aries and Taurus this month in your third house of communication and the way you think. So this is really a wonderful month for you to get some brilliant insights and innovations and ideas in. You might invent something new. You may figure out a new way of doing something technologically. And it's really a great month for you to innovate and to produce new and original content. From the 1st of May until the 14th of May, we have the Sun in Taurus, that's in your fourth house. So family-wise, things are going to feel very solid for you this month. And it opposes Jupiter in Scorpio in your 10th house. So either because you have such a strong family foundation, you're able to do all these wonderful things in your career, or because you're so successful in your career, your family is really proud of you and that's why it's so quiet. Chicken or the egg, who knows? But both areas are going to be really good for you this, this month. Jupiter is in Scorpio in the 10th. It also trines Neptune, the planet of dreams and intuition, and that's in your second house of money and belongings all month. So you can literally manifest money by focusing on what it is you want to do, sending your order out into the universe, listening to the guidance, and then working in the way the universe tells you, and you're really going to thrive financially as well this month. On the 15th of May, we have the new moon in Taurus happening in your fourth house. So even more stability in your family life. On the 16th of May, Uranus moves into Taurus in your fourth house and it stays there until 2025. So Uranus has been in Aries since 2011. It changes sign every seven years because it's an outer planet. It moves very slowly. So it's going to remain in Taurus in your fourth house now for the next seven years. And that means that there's going to be a consistent structure in your family life and the next seven years are really going to be quite supportive and solid. Now the last time Uranus was in Taurus was in 1935 and it lasted until 1942 and that wasn't a great period. So we had the Great Depression in the States, we had World War II, King Edward VIII abdicated, it was not good. And that's because Uranus is chaos and Taurus is the earth and money and planet Earth and anything physical. So you, we can expect changes to the stock market and finances. We can expect changes to the world. Maybe there's more extreme weather. But just because last time it was negative doesn't mean this time is going to be negative because Uranus is chaos. It's not just bad. It's up and down and left and right and all over the place. So it may be that someone invents uh, maybe you invent a new way of fueling our cars, which is totally eco-friendly. Or maybe the stock market really improves. You can't predict Uranus because it's so chaotic. Now, on the 29th of May, the full moon is in Sagittarius in your 11th house. So it's really important for you to set some goals and to look at what your hopes and dreams are for the future and to... Um, Try and pursue those because at the end of the month, you're going to feel really optimistic. You'll have confidence and courage in your own abilities and you'll really want to do something with that. So um, set some goals at the end of the month so you can hit the ground running going into June. So it looks like a great month for you. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will speak to you next month.